Hello there, everybody, and welcome, one and all. Let's just quickly turn that down. <laughs> it is Simon here this evening. I still have a cold, um, which is turning more fluey, I must say. But never mind, we are back for Oxen Free Part 2. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well this Saturday. I imagine it being a low turnout because we've got football um, and a sunny English day, which is amazingly hot. But I can't tell if it's hot, hot, or if it's just because I've got a cold and it's making me sweat like a bitch. Um, <clears throat> so cheers, everyone. This is Soda Garten Strawberry and Lime Cider. And we are about to kick off with part two. And the second half, really, of the Oxen Free playthrough that is the community playthrough. Hello, Mr. Drakes. How are you doing, sir? Hope you are well. Cheers to you. Hope your foot's getting better. Of course, it's Oxen Free. This whole evening is basically let's play part two um, and finish it off. Take a couple of hours. So. I hope no one's really desperate to watch football. Uh, but yes, we can make decisions. We can be disastrously bitchy and lovely. And uh, let's get going, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is crap. I love how that says that you're not even in the room still, Mr. Drake. Lol. Right. Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch field of horses. Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is, I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it, is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd she do that? Um, I think she was indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I, I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But, you know, it's, whatever, that's, that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the, just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's, a uh, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did. Yeah, no, total super friend status, you know? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? <sighs> of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is gonna start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. I don't know. I think you probably should have taken the test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. Words to live by. Don't squander your potential on music manure. Well, sorry. I dragged you out there and made you pet a horse and drink moonshine. Oh, well, now that I know that moonshine was involved... <laughs> Agreed. Hello, Josh. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over the uh, dialogue going on there. And yes, definitely oxen free is better than football. Smithy is not feeling that much better. Smithy has soldiered through the week of work <coughs> uh, and is going off to fucking Scotland for work next week. Uh, and Sheffield. I'm not very impressed because um, I feel like crap. Um, and I'm pushing on weight doing anything I feel horrible so yes anyway all of the drama okay, so, we so we had got 
Let's do a quick recap. So we've got Jonas and Ren with us at the moment. Jonas is the brother, uh, the, the stepbrother. Ren is the best friend who we're not really a fan of. We have saved, tried to help Clarissa and tried to save Ren. Clarissa was nearly dead. Um, yeah, no worries, Josh. No worries, Josh. I hope the comms is going well. <coughs> um, we'll have to go on a weight loss binge, Mr. Jakes. Um, and we sent Nona to the station, didn't we? So where are we actually going? What are we doing? This is helpful. Go back to the comms tower. Yes, right. Thought so. So that we can meet with everyone. <laughs> Cheers. so much this year. <coughs> so apologies if I cough during this broadcast and it sounds like I'm dying, but I'm not. I'm fine really. Okay, so that was where Clarissa had conked out. Uh, and we thought she committed suicide, but she hadn't. I'm glad people really enjoyed playing Oxen Free last week. I didn't know if it would do well being played together or not, um, but I'm quite glad that people were quite involved and invested and wanted to continue running to the next. <laughs> Mayday! May oh crap. This isn't. This is just coming out of speakers and the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god. Is this what I sound like? How can right. anyone so stand no to listen to me tower, all day? We're all with us. God, where did Clarissa get off to? Maybe Nona's seen her on the way in, or has a clue or something. I think Clarissa would be with her then, though, right? I'm just talking here. So in my playthrough, I went for Ren first over Clarissa, and there's a whole spiel where Ren and Nona are talking over the radios at each other and having like a mini argument. <laughs> it's quite cute. Because one of the arcing storylines is you can try and get them together or not. And depending on how you act around them and what the choices of dialogue you say is to whether or not they end up together or not. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, I see you down there, and without Clarissa, <laughs> actually, I'm going to stop talking since obviously isn't working, so just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Death by Brown.
but have a regrouping with Nona and Co. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh. Okay, first decision. Do we tell Nona what's going on and ruin her fragile mind? Or, or, or well, or get her with the picture? Or do we want to be nice and normal? Because this next scene is going to be all about... Um, things. Well, sorry, the, this next scene is all about deciding your loyalties on friends. There's only three acceptable highs on life. Buy a good time or buy a good sex. Buy a yes. Good sex, definitely. Cheers to that. Amen. Because essentially we're going to have to make a decision on who to trek with. We want to be allies with her. Okay, Josh is being friendly today. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and uh, it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And uh, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm... Okay. Shall we back up Jonas? Or shall we back up Ren? Comments in the chat room, please. Ren is a douche. Be an idiot to Ren. <laughs> I love that everyone hates Ren. Right, so... I'm not a burner. Well, I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat? Or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Is it his fault? Is it not his fault? How much of an asshole are we going to be? <laughs> comments, comments. Oh God, can I hear rain? Oh, not rain. <coughs> that rightmost bottle is kind of vague, isn't it? So we're going. So it's two against one. It was his fault. Okay. You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, are you serious? This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail around and bump into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You oh, got no. us stuck. Guys, come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. So you can't pin the entire thing on me. Oh. Read that wrong. <laughs> okay, Especially we'll and I freely admit it. In front of... Whatever. In front of Nona and Ren, I blew it. Okay? I should have known better. You didn't blow it, Alex. You only screwed up, apparently, by bringing Jonas along. Well done, and I freely blame your mom for that. 
it should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I mean, Jesus, Alex, when you told me Ren annoyed the crap out of you, I had no idea how much you were lowballing it. Oh, please. Like she would ever say that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> do we want to perpetuate the argument, or do we want them to, or do we want to take like an abstinence view? Let me know. <laughs> because it's now wheeling out all of the shit that we've been saying. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> One for let's stay out of it. For reasons. Go Swiss. Ah, yes. That is a good call. Let's go Swiss. This was just earlier tonight. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh, meathead. Just I shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Who do we want to take? on our next journey and therefore be their friend. Ren Nona Jonas. It will have relationship consequences. <laughs> to go at each other. <laughs> okay, so one for Nona. Well, oh, one for Nona and one for Jonas. Tess. What's Tess going for? Bom, 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 bom. <coughs> Excuse me. Jonas. Ha ha. Right. So in my playthrough, I went for Nona to be extra Swiss. Um, which pisses off both Jonas and Ren, so I'm going to be really intrigued to see how this turns out now. Rona. <laughs> yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you let me sweat it out for like two hours in the woods to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? 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 Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care. I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. I think that went well. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think Red likes this very much anymore. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind. Hmm. So, let's go to Main Street.
if I told you that that is the only time where you're going to be able to pick your friend, we've made a decision. <laughs> we can still be nice to her in conversation. That will make her our friend still. <laughs> right. This is what voting does to politics. He's in or out of the EU. What? Yes. You can, by the way, make your own choices, especially because little birdie tells me that end of next week or the week after is the Steam Summer Sale. And this will be on it. The two options are driving less good brain. Yes. Keep that new brother. Uh, right, where are we going? Weird child outside. <coughs> So let's go to the fields. <laughs> A new relative not salty. <laughs> I like I like these terms. I told my manager to not be so salty this week. It didn't go down very well. <clears throat> but she didn't know what being salty meant. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Do you want him to apologize to Ren? Nah, fuck it. So just, sorry for the whole thing. It, I shouldn't have gone in on Ren at all. Look. Uh, and I just want to clear the air, too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I, uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And I just wanted you to know so it... Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized? Not for a while, but, you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that... I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy, okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, all right. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. So that's entirely new. It was implied in my other playthrough that he'd been to jail, but he doesn't actually admit it or anything. So that's all new information for me. <clears throat> oh, we've got a... The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. 
The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. <laughs> Slightly scary. <clears throat> This version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. I love how like, <clears throat> it's like we're playing the game of Lost. Am I going the right way or something? Okay. I'm not going the right way, we'll soon find out. <coughs> Excuse me. I oh, know we are with you. Okay, so that's the granny that runs the travel shop's house is that way. Oh, so Lost has like a it's spoiling a little bit of season five, but there's a bit of a time loop thing that happens. Um and in season two, and they keep finding things from like old and from, from like years before and like old tapes and like radio footage and stuff. It's creepy. Oh, how how many of you are there? How how many of you are there? Hmm. So that's Alex. Speaking there, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, it could be more Clarissa, actually. This Data Command Annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed WALL system. A type of radio frequency identification, WALL, standing for Wave Assisted Lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. We can't get in country and western <laughs> down on the farm on the farm Oops, up some shit hit the fan This is, I want to, like, 
this is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and, but, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Okay, but, I mean, come on, Jonas, you know all that stuff is complete bunk, right? There might be something out there, but it's not some guy pushing buttons on a cloud. I'm not saying it's some guy, but you don't think maybe there's like a, a being or, or even like a place that you go after you die or something like a spirit? No, there's no great being. If there is something out there, it's completely devoid of anything resembling a personality and is also probably dead. Jeez. Okay, I, I guess I just have a different outlook. Some aspects of it just, um... Help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything... Well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive! You, you're alive! Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa! Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... This is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they wanna... Maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, to talk through us or something? I guess. One way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh... Doing, hun? <laughs> Alex, little help over here. On the beach, on the radio. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? <laughs> Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... This will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've, like, perverted this... Ghost? Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she... Okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a... 
thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. Are we sorry? Or are we going to be defensive? Okay. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a store... <sighs> okay, Clarissa, come on. I said I was sorry. You don't have to pile on. Pile on? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last... God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. She you weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bull line. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Enough. I mean it. Jonas, it... It was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in three. So let's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so... God only knows where she is now. You know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Why is any of this happening? Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets, because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Well, I think that went well. <laughs> Let's get in. Come on, Alex. Much emotions. Totes emotion. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, <laughs> less than modern. That's just... Brute force of both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Brute force it? What is that supposed to mean? Elbow grease, shoulder, lard. We're gonna break down the door, okay? Us, together. Let's do this. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. <laughs> to sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front <coughs> desk. <sighs> Never gets old. <laughs> Not said really. Exactly. Brute for shoving lard. Reminds me of a few things. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. 
Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom it... Steal a boat and leave. That's our next task? Over to the Adler... It should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like... like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what... I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just signed, uh... Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had, like, dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not <laughs> get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we, do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there are, um, <coughs> if you tune your radio, so, sorry, right, we've now got a new improved radio with more signal, so it can go right the way down now to 50, and right the way up, I think, to 150, and I'm going to tune it to 140.1, I think, it it. Everything becomes a Alpha November. Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. So everything becomes an antique eventually. If we then go to the antique store, now we can find a... Oh my god, the... The Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. <clears throat> so, the USS Walter Riot, a destroyer escort, sunk the USS Camaloa with friendly fire on the 25th of October 1943. It had a development nuclear reactor in its belly and has been sent out weeks earlier to test its capabilities. Relatively few even knew of its existence, which tripled its base's confusion when the submarines, com submarines contacted communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I'd later discover that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter is an engineer on the Canaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. So, if I now open that up, <coughs> um, it's not filled itself out yet, but um, there's about 12 or 15 like letters which help you piece together what that whole sunken thing is and the way how the island's built up around it. I'm not necessarily going to pick them up as we go through our playthrough, but if you're going for completion when you're completing this game, you want to find all of Adler's notes and the 12 anomalies, which are those little frequencies that we're tuning into with the little pile of stones in the corner. So that's what you you go for, for like the completion shizums. Just for interests of this playthrough, I'm going to continue on more story related than anything else. <laughs> Let's go steal a boat. 
do have a new radio. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just got here. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad... I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Do I tell him he's dead? I, I, actually, it doesn't matter, to be fair. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the... Oh, the, the car? No, they don't... Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can fix a broken taillight. Hmm, wouldn't be the first time. You and your snide comments. Today turned out to be... A flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. You're very warm, Josh. You're very warm indeed. Uh, it's Jonas that we need to talk to. It's been a spell since we did something, month. right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've... Um, I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh, <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Dates. Uh, forget it. It's all right. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? 
I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. No, thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I am, uh, doing all right. Yeah? <sighs> yeah. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Okay. So, are we going to influence his opinion of Clarissa? <clears throat> or are we going to just be passive and say no problem? Or are we going to be like a questioning? So we've got one for no problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Looks like we've got... <clears throat> he seems cool. Okay. We said we wouldn't tell him what to do. Nope, that makes sense. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. <laughs> it's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex. So tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Okay. Dump her, stick with it, do what you want. <clears throat> this is quite a critical decision. <laughs> Comments in the chat room, please. <clears throat> okay, that's a two for do not do what do what you want, boy. And that God, up do to what you what want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Success, says Josh, but is it? <laughs> it was quite sweet. There's lots of sweetness in this game. This Alex, week. are you all right? <sighs> okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? <laughs> I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. Do we want to tell him we've just seen Michael? doing um you kind of slowed down then stopped then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move and then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about like sandwiches or something whole thing was a weird <laughs> little show like you were having a stroke or something i i was yes you said it doesn't matter what's in it potato chips always improve a sandwich it was like to yourself whatever as long as you're back among the living let's just head to the gate try the radio You didn't die. 
Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, Clarissa's... gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got, like... This is gonna sound insane, but whatever. Possessed and got time-looped away. Oh. So there's that. What? Where is she? Clarissa will be fine. She's... She hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or... Shut up, Bren. <laughs> if we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Everyone's quite pushy. Hotel. Tango. For the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima. Okay, so that'll be the lighting. That's where another letter. Hotel, Tango. Hotel, Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. So there's a lighthouse on the island so if you for another one of those adler notes is um you need to turn on that light which i don't think i've done in my last playthrough because i didn't get all the notes <clears throat> or all the anomalies actually jesus that house is huge that lady really knew how to live it's like the chateau de adler ah oh, she does have a boat yeah see Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was four hours ago. Okay, well, I mean, if the boat plan doesn't work, there's still a big house, like, right there, and it probably has a phone. We can just call somebody to pick us up. That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. <laughs> oh, you point and click naughtiness. And no, it's not that simple. Never it's is. a radio lock. <clears throat> the woman sure did love her antiquated security. That the is a nifty gizmo. Get near the bit. Okay, let's enter the house for the next bit of fuckery. 
Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? I don't know. I'm in like a heightened state right now. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah. Do we want to be a bitch to Clarissa or do we want to say keep an eye on her or do we want to ignore the fact that she's magically made herself inside a house? Because, like, kitchen window. Let's not what? So, are we, are we saying, uh, fine, keep an eye, or not going? Okay, so that's one for fine. Okay. Yes, fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. <laughs> Typical. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck, with uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of- Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. I chose to not reply to that because they're both uh, antagonists. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kid's better than- Oh, um, Chad's Lake House. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Hey, Nona. Hey. Do we want to remind her about Ren? Because do, do we want them together or do we not want them together? Do we want to ruin Ren's love life, essentially, is the question. Ruin or give? <clears throat> Let's not have them together. Uh, so this is a really awkward time to bring this up, but everything's terrible now, so why not? Have you thought about Ren? Like, at all? <laughs> Surprisingly? Uh, a little. Oh my god, you're like those sailors who dreamed of banging a walrus. Shut up! But you can, you can forget what I said about telling him I'm not interested, if that matters at all. I don't know why I said that to begin with. So... Why? Did something happen? <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, I just... I'm gonna try and not close off things before I even know what I'm closing off, I guess. And it's not about Ren specifically, it's just anything. So just never mind with all that. Okay, no, no. Clarissa? Your Highness? <clears throat> you need help, I don't care what you think, Michael wasn't my fault. They're all quite pointed. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't just talk to her. Maybe I should walk away. <coughs> Ren will appear in a sec. For the 800th time, and I don't even know why I feel like I have to keep selling you on this, but... Here goes again. Michael wasn't my fault. <sighs> as long as you believe it, I guess.
find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. How's the, um, Nona stuff going? What do you care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? I just don't get it. Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? for a chest that's on the second floor of the house. We're going straight there now. Are you, um, doing okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so. Yeah, that's true. Okie dokie, Josh. Good luck with comms. <coughs> I don't think we'll be streaming by then. We're about two thirds of the way through the game, so, um, you might catch the very end, maybe. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... The people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? <laughs> Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's a chest. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and... Those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Show you. <laughs> uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. 
Rolling oil, marinated, so to speak. <laughs> Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the sword to chop off your head. I love it. <laughs> Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! Ren, are you, are you all right? We're in a, we're in a time loop thing. Jonas, don't... don't just sit there. We're in a time-shift loop thing. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just... stop whatever this is, can't you? Just... just fix my friends. Please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear eyes. You said maybe leave was possible. Maybe. I didn't... I didn't even know what the hell you were talking about. Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will be fine. fine. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. I don't want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The, the older models of... Maybe that's race. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. <laughs> Other sons. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not... spy. With my little eye in a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Oh. Fuck. Eight. Seven. Six. Where's the knot? Where's the knot? Four. Three. Two. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very, very nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You, see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we... if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. Do not, not an eternal, eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what... what happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of... essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, 
We are until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Right. <coughs> what are we going to say in the mirror? Don't influence Michael. Michael should go to school or Michael should go out on his own. Comments in the chat. Please. Okay, so one for don't influence. Jazz? <clears throat> I noticed there's a bit of a don't fuck up the original timeline if we can help it vibe coming from Mr. Drake's throughout all of these decisions so far. Don't influence, I suppose. Okay. Tell Michael he should go to school here. So I pressed the button that said don't influence him. And it still came out with tell him to go to school here. So I'm not sure if that is a weird thing with the buttons. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, <laughs> trouble. Yeah. God, that all really just happened? Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... No, completely that's the plan. Of course it is. Clarissa is not going to be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Not on my watch. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Bimbo. Oh my god. It's like totally like my hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, never let me do that voice again. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. She's been 
already said much. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... Oh, God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? You can, uh, skip this one. Alex. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. You two will be boning later. Whoa. All right. Hit oh, sorry. This is, like, this looks like the end, but from, <coughs> the, from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant. Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the um call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Do we want to stick with Jonas or do we want to try and ditch him for somebody else? Comments in the chat. I'm not sure if we can ditch him, by the way. <clears throat> but it's essentially a do we like staying with Jonas or not? Stay with Jonas. Okay. So, a trek across the island. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. I'm assuming someone at English has scored because there's a massive shouting match going on right outside my flat. <clears throat> and lots of men sound happy. Either that or they've just killed a child? Either or. I hate football so much. So much. Okay, are you... are you back to normal?
I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. Okay. I don't like 22 men chasing bulls. <clears throat> I prefer my I prefer my ball sports to be. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, one -on -one. guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Cause if I got it right. No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading. Should we tell him that we saw him just get drowned? It could freak out his brain. I I didn't do this before, so this is new to me. Get to the wood station right about now. I saw, I saw Ren drowning in a. The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there, and yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination <clears throat> triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Look, well, Jonas, it was real, all right? As real as the other loops or any of the other hundred crazy things that have happened tonight. Don't say that! What am I supposed to do with this? It's not like I can really avoid drowning any more than I can normally do on a daily basis. You're on land, Ren. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But then, why would she... why would she have this vision then? Just be careful, alright? I don't know why I saw what I saw, but just keep on your toes, okay? Well, I am now, yeah. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. <sighs> alright, well, uh, see you after. I just hope so. Don't say that! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go through the woods. <coughs> Excuse me. So it would be at this point if I wasn't playing like a story specific playthrough, which is where you'd then go and find all of the letters and all of the anomalies on the radio everywhere to kind of piece out more and more of the story. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm aware that we're, although you know we are what time it is. in the story, we're not going to do it all ourselves. It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Oh, pizza. Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all going to be shopping for school supplies. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. Oh, huh? true. I think this... 
um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made it. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. Bag it before you shag it. <laughs> Agreed. Good job you weren't friends with Hitler then. Otherwise, this world might have been slightly different in the way how it looks and feels. Another anomaly down there, but I can't be bothered to climb all the way around to get it back again. <clears throat> okay, we're approaching the home ish run. Ish, ish. About another hour. Tops. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? <clears throat> my belief bolstered by Anna's and my research largely conducted at the Catbird station where, interrupted, uh, where interruptions were rare is that men and women of the USS Kalamoa were separated from our dimensional existence by an implosion of the uh, submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign. Uh, and his confused diction and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, had been reduced to that of a child. Uh, I feel tickling too when I envisage Anna's demise. Hmm. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop-de-loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... <sighs> hope that. Thank you. 
Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... Okay. Are we gonna go with whatever's Clarissa was dead to? Or are we gonna be dramatic? Since we are time looped. Cause we'll never know. How? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And Proposition? Like, like what? It's already over, Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald over here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. So. Do we... Sacrifice Clarissa to save the rest? Do we say we're saving everyone and, <laughs> and carry on gung-ho? Or question things? ba ba bum <clears throat> Type in the chatty. Type in the chatty. Type in the chat. Type in the chat. Type in the chat. Type in the chat. One for question. <coughs> okay. But we're the protagonist, is a question on that. Okay. I don't, I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already. Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Your friends would be fine. And you're not so... Deal or no deal? I need, need some Noel Edmonds to pop out and go, deal or no deal? Where's the banker? <coughs> One no deal. Fuck off, banker. Fair enough. We'll have to decline. It's probably rigged in the ghost's favour anyway. Okay. Forget it. No deal. Everyone is coming home with me. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules.
Oh, I went the wrong way. I, I did spot the tape machine on the other side. Sorry. My fault. My fault. <coughs> so, I know from <coughs> what I've seen elsewhere. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. Nona, come on. We can still crack this. I do not believe... I, I won't that he's gone forever. I, I just won't. I wish I had your faith... And things. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. It doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Like I said, it's just a tiny thing. Good. Then you won't tell him maybe if you like him and then they won't get together. <laughs> The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just... ate a... tree. You were possessed. And for the longest time, I think that we've, um, seen so far. Yeah, I know. I can... kind of remember that part. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they...? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Anybody? Jonas? They're both alive. Jonas? That's Punch Jonas if you can hear this. God. Yeah, no, that's a, that's Seriously, a bonus. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Times are wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasting away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like, it was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Dax. No, it, uh, just whatever. I'm fine. No, you're Bobby Duffer. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Nothing else makes a difference. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, oh, exactly. Yeah, that anomaly, because they're choking right like <laughs> Okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Over now. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike. I, I love how much dislike there is for Red. I didn't really bother too much about him with my country. I think I just tried to be everyone's friend. <laughs> Hello, 
We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, <laughs> for everyone just shut up. You can play dress up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. Yeah, I guess he's right, actually. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Okay. athletic than I'd ever be in my life. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, so we're going to go back down. We are on the final descent to the final big choice. This game is well done. say something about that to be fair um that was us doing the call and response stuff to get it open um i think it was talking just generally about uh for air raids and stuff like that Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... I think it's like Reset. Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... just... like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together. And you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter. And when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes, you are, Mr. Drakes. Your WhatsApps contain lots of noise. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so all of our decisions have been coming down to this. Pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But. You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash... Oh, you mean Amanda? 
My really good friend Amanda, who's moving away forever. That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just... I don't know. It's gonna be... It's not gonna be casual anymore. It's gonna be a thing. A real thing. That's all. So, just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Okay. Uh, why leave? But if everyone loves you, I'd miss you. Sorry, I made a snap decision on the first one to keep up with the don't influence about Clarissa. <laughs> oh, we're going for the heartstrings. <coughs> Excuse me. But everybody loved. Everyone loves you here. You're like, I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Oh, Tess, no. <clears throat> Maybe it needs tuning in with a radio or something. <laughs> Maybe th Maybe someone from the USS. <laughs> Alex? Stop it. Just stop. It. <sighs> you got, you know, you went bad again. I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done now. I saw... I saw Michael again. I just... I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on. It's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Okay. So, uh, nothing directly comes out of that, but it frames, I think, some later conversations. Um, but we, we made sure that he chose... He does what he wants to do, essentially, as opposed to being 
emotionally blackmailed into wanting to stay or go, depending on what we are as his little sister. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just like a trial period. Like, buying a used car that I can already tell is missing a lot. What? I know. I'm cool. So don't get, like, overly excited. I'm not excited. This is just... This is how I normally stand. All right, but seriously, just don't say anything, okay? I'm not... Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked, right? You asked? Ugh. Really? Him? You? Is this like a Cancer Kid last request sort of thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! It's one day at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Cheering. Romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. This will not be an upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just felt like he knew I was open to it, so why wait to plan? Whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Okay, well, I'm happy for you, but we still have the little issue of submarine ghosts to, um, exercise. Yeah, that thing. I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but... you've been acting like... not you. Ren. No, I just... I don't know. Ren, oh, are you... Ren. this is what you want to tell me before we go in there? I know. I'm sorry. It's it's just been it's just been a crappy night. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is stupid, but can we like take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and somebody finds it or something. Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach, kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not Right. Stupid Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Yeah. <laughs> That's not an analogy for making someone pregnant. I don't know what is. <laughs> Boo. To be honest, actually, all of the characters, it's not as if you can be horrible. They're, they're not horrible characters, they're just different ways of playing with things. So... Before we go in, <coughs> excuse me, we have the option to hug all three of these characters. Please type in the chat which ones we should hug and which ones we shall just not bubble with. And I reckon that Nona still dated Ren because we didn't tell him that it, he wasn't um, interested earlier. So we've got Huggle 3. Everyone who isn't Ren! <laughs> okay. Let, let's make the Ren hate real. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I... Uh, all right. Fuck you, Red. Z formation now, bitch. Okay. Um, and we're going to enter the bomb shelter. <coughs> Once we're in here, we're doing the game to the end. Because this is like the final bit. So... If you, I'm assuming you two are right to stay around for like the next 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> hate Ren. Hashtag hate Ren. <laughs> so, I'm going to enter the bomb shelter. Here. For free. Two. Don't tell me you've got to go now.
No one's looking particularly happy in that photo. <sighs> Listen, Alex. I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Excellent. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? Is this a joke? Yeah, it's a... What do you call a man that's short of time? Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah, it's not one of my finest. <laughs> It's... it feels, like, wrong to see one of these when we're not in a... a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kinda does. It's kinda spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would've slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia, or whoever, dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would've held up. <sighs> Too late now, anyway. I never got to try it out. <laughs> Very true, Ted. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Okay, are we going to agree with Jonas? Are we all getting out of here together? <clears throat> or are we going to say that if something... If shit hits the fan, we're going to drop Jonas and run? <laughs> We're all gonna get out of here minus Rin, okay. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes! This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But, I mean, it, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. Okay, I'm gonna give you some leeway here because I'd want it with Michael, so take a look. Okay, good, thank you. It's like breaking or something. Can you, can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. <sighs> I don't know, but try and get it playing right if you can. It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but... you can hear that. The voice, right? I can... kinda hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... like it could be, right? It's just... W with everything that's happened, she could have come here. It's possible. I mean, a lot's happened tonight in this general realm of craziness, so I'm not going to rule it out. God, she's like so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but if you could just help me with this right now. Okay. 
Are we going to let Jonas try to talk to his mother? We said that through the mirror. When the mirror thing said to that. Talk to his mum reference. Yes. Can we start to see threads of loops starting to flip back? So we're going for a sure. So we're, st we're still going to go for it, yeah? Okay, great. Uh, sure, I, I, can, I can try, I guess. Yeah, because this... I don't know how to get this clearer or whatever. I just can't... I just can't really get this to change or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh, Mom? Well, uh... Alex? Jonas, wait! Jonas! I need you! Come back! Come... <sighs> Hold on to that thought, Mr. Drakes, because it's part of... Uh, uh, some people wonder. It's the beauty of interpretive endings, is all I'm going to say at the moment, because we're about to hit the final room, I think. You know, oh, yeah. the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Then just leave then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all the... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. Yes, I have, actually. Oh, what? Sitting in your room breaking from your brother? You're like this one. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, wait your turn. So we can see there's still a triangle up there. So let's try and tune that bitch. Anybody? Can anybody hear me? Clarissa? Maybe? Hello? Somebody there? Guess not. Here with us. 
You'll die with us, again and again. It's worth it. I'm um, really, you're just trying to scare me. Is it worth dying for your friends? <clears throat> One, it's worth it. Okay, 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 okay. L'Oreal style. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Oh. So think long and hard about those friends. Well, it'd be an all right way to go if it meant saving some people you care about. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know, through the gate you opened. So make your choice, quickly, while we still have patience to try. Okay, this is our last chance. We can leave and leave Clarissa with the ghosts, or we can go into the battle. <clears throat> That's a no way. What? No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do, who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. We can't. How can I fix it then? Just just tell me how to fix it. I'm here, I'm in the, the past for God's sake. I can't change this somehow? No, you can't change. Before, you can't change anything. We can feel this binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but but you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. Everyone just shuttered us away into a back closet of their thoughts. Okay. Maggie remembered. What would your families think? A minute till what? Excuse me. I'm so sorry about my coughs. Let me. me. Okay, Maggie remembered. Tess, if you're still there. Maggie, laggy, ding dong. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Maggie remembered. She wanted to help you. It, it was all she did was, was try and figure out what had happened. We've watched her in every timeline. Watched her try and understand. Out of guilt, maybe. <clears throat> she cared about you? I don't know. Calvin, they didn't forget. Pause, 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 pause. Either non middle, okay. Tess. Agreed. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Calvin. There's. I know there was a crewman on that submarine named Calvin, and, and to you, to all of you, they didn't forget, okay? They didn't throw you away. Calvin. Was our name that? Calvin? Oh, Calvin. I. Almost remember my name. Oh. 
don't hurt my friends, be braver than this, don't lose, you, lose yourselves. <clears throat> Apologies that this is, because this is like the fine, the part of the final two conversations, so you're making all the choices. <laughs> it is the community playthrough after all. Simon's being the bitch. Be braver than this, okay. One for braver. One for braver and two. Ouch. <clears throat> Calvin Gilbert. It's hard to remember certain things. Our faces went a while ago, then our names. Our names. But our anger. Our anger is. We're afraid of all we have left. It's kind of the last stitch. Leave it behind, that's not all you will have, then take it with you. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I had to pause a bit earlier because I missed the last thing. You. I think I said it last stream, but you can actually go through this entire game without choosing any conversation at all and just be the... You get a trophy called Silent Protagonist, but it means that you've not chosen anything and it just plays out with whatever information you have to hand. I think either randomly picking stuff or choosing options that's only come up when you don't say anything. Not all. Okay, Tess? That's not all you have. You know... That's not all you have. Stop it. Keep your nature. We keep ours. Maggie had, has, will have this friend. And you sort of remind us of her. Strange girl. Odd tempered. Take care. With the time you have left, child, and take notice of what you choose to. Uh -oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I like how it comes Jonas up with the Jonas, where where are you? Okay, this is this is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Okay. So are we confirming <clears throat> with our reflection in the pool? Stay with Clarissa, break up with Clarissa, or don't tell him what to do. And I think we we told him, don't tell him what to do. So, are we going to tell the, our reflection that? Remember the reflections was telling us what we were doing? Are we going to stick with what we originally done? Or are we going to fuck up the timeline by saying other things? <clears throat> and that's my interpretation of what's going on. So we're going for a don't tell him what to do, which I think is what we the mirror person told us wasn't it <coughs> or our mirrored self don't tell michael what to do about clarissa okay but michael's dead how could i even whoa wait what what's happening hello are you look is someone there jonas if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. So we went for let Jonas talk to his mum, didn't we? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... How, how is this possible? What's going on? <sighs> well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. No 
Can we tell Michael should go to school? Tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> Even though that wasn't what we were supposed to press, I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? So, yeah. <clears throat> but we have a good timeline, as Tess was saying. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... Th this is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, <laughs> struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Graduation speech, is that what we're talking about? Aw, oh, man, you haven't been listening at all. It's okay, this is really boring. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great. Congratulations. I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. Michael, say it. Come on, you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in. That's just cruel. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I aren't talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? What? You'd leave me here or sounds exciting. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we're staying we're gonna stay consistent. Okay. Wow, that's that's <clears throat> exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh it's yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some <laughs> level of uh vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh I'm into the idea. I really am. I just I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your like blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm all right to do this? Michael, honestly, I don't think it matters. O or it, it doesn't matter what I think, at least. It matters to me. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Michael, what is... What's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any... But the things that never happened... Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she alright? Did we... um... win? Oh yeah, big time! Wire to wire finish! I think saying wire to wire is stretching it, you know, since... I don't know about sports, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. 
The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... I didn't know what to think. What happened? I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. I think... Jonas, I think that was your dad. Like, it was real. You were back then. That's... I mean, it felt real, so... I don't know. Maybe. No, I... had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but like, did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh... taken during the night? Um, yeah. Yeah, a few. Just, um, just the one, I think. What was, um, what was yours? It was my dad. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, maybe? I don't know. If the urge strikes to cut a rug in front of that one janitor who leers all the time... Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes. <laughs> That's a good place to pause. Uh, do we want to go to prom with Nona and Clarissa to go shopping for dresses? Yes or no? <coughs> we can be bimbo bitches together, potentially. Right up your street, Smithy. No! And there's no rich guy. Well, uh, for that. Sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up <laughs> once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah. Just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Come on, two seconds. I'm not pushing the clicker until you're... <laughs> yeah, we're not taking it until you get in. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't.
the island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. Ah, I can't. Pause. <clears throat> right, I'm hoping it stays there until you type in what we want <laughs> her to do. Did she leave town for school? Did she go to college here? Did she take some time off? I'm okay. taking some time off. Just to, I don't know, readjust my priorities, figure out what I want to do. But anyways, oh, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? <laughs> what? Very, very well done, Mr. Drake. <laughs> For spotting something. <coughs> so, let me just turn it down so it doesn't. So, the main, the story can be cut in lots and lots and lots of different ways, um, and having seen the trophy at the Playthrough. Bits of your first playthrough start 
filter through in the radio. So the more times you play it and the more different scenarios you try out and muck around with, the more you can kind of play around with that time loop. Um, and the, what I was saying about like hold on to what you were saying in Mr. Drinks is that <coughs> everyone is still debating online if there is actually a possible true ending to get you out of that time loop. Because as far as I know, everyone that has played it and played out all of the different areas and tried to clear out things have had like vast long conversations with the ghosts and found out loads about them and got all of the notes and all of the different anomalies and all of that. But um, regardless of what happens, they're still being ripped back into a larger time loop. So is it that she's just stuck in it for an infinity and that's it? Or is there a way of trying to align so much of everything through every choice that you make that there is a way to get yourself out of that time loop but if there is no one online has ever found it and it's not alluded to in anything so uh, yeah lots of people I've seen really really long discussions in forums about it um, which keeps me guessing but I'm quite <coughs> excuse me intrigued and excited to now have a second playthrough and see like of all the differences that come up I'm not going to broadcast that obviously because I'd rather have people like go buy the game but uh yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people have kind of gone for that test as if to say like I wonder if there's a way to do it. Um but no no in no way has it ever been implied that it can be done um or is doable. So if there is no one's found it. So that my chummies is oxen free. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I thoroughly did. I love the game. Uh, available on PS4. It came out uh, two weeks ago. Um, I'm assuming it's on Xbox 360. Uh, Xbox One, sorry. Ah. Um, and it will. It is on PC. It came out on PC first. Um, <coughs> you can grab the soundtrack if that's of interest or fan can. Um, and if Steam Summer Sale is coming up in two weeks' time, this will be on it. So if you want to go and have your own decisions and choices, if you don't have a PS4, I'd wait for that and get it done. But thank you very much, as always. Community helps. Thank you to everyone who popped in a decision over the course of the two nights. And I think that was uh, nearly six hours of gaming joy fun. So take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of the evening slash weekend. I don't think I'll be buying it right now. Wait for the stick to say. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Pleasure as always. Uh, I'll be back next week. We should have more streams like this in the future. Yes. <coughs> um, I'm going to look at other things. I was considering uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. Which I have already done on PS3, but then I gave it away to PS4. And you know that Season 3 is coming, and that the, the choices will align. So I might go for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or I may wheel out <coughs> Beyond Two Souls or something like that, and we'll have to give those back. Um, but they're quite lengthy, these playthroughs, so I'll have to do them over a short period of time. Okay. Thank you all. Take care and uh, wish me health because I want some back soon please. <laughs> Doodle pippage. Bye.